and welcome back to the Trucking Scribe. It's Esther. Today we're going to make some tags that will open up. And you got little pockets. I'm going to call them accordion pockets. I know that Joel D's designs, she did them and she said concertina pockets. So I hope you enjoyed the video. So we're going to do a concertina tag or a swap in my Facebook group. Now, I can't take credit for it because Jolie's design, and I'm going to leave a link in the description below so that you can find it. She posted it today, which was a perfect day for it to go up as far as my group having using it for a example but I just couldn't go and not do a video on it I'll put this up in a few weeks I guess but a few things that I did want to talk to you about let me get my lights back on I took you can see Christmas paper I have fall paper and what I've done is I've cut these to three by six the full sheets and if I had smaller pieces I cut them also and I have this stack well now I can go in here and I can pull colors that I want for my tag so our color for this month we're gonna we're gonna do colors instead of things I guess that's still a thing, but we're doing colors for this year in our Facebook group. Don't draw in with the truck and scribe. So we decided on blue for January. So if you have blue and you want to make these, that grab them and definitely let's make them. If you don't have blue, then go ahead and get whatever color you got and make them anyway and definitely sign up. In our Facebook group to so that you can swap but yeah I mean I've got a lot of bases here that we can use what I'm going to do with these right here the magazine out So I don't know how this is going to work. Let's see. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this on here. So this will give my tag a little more structure too. I'm just going to glue it down. Or Christmas side up. And leave the back just plain so you can have journaling spot. I'm going to glue this one on it. Now this stack takes up a lot less room than a great big 12 by 12. And then I already have bases ready to go when I get ready to to make something. So I'm going to do the next one the same way. I just I had quite a few Christmas scrapbook pages left, and I, I was like, I got to do something with these. They're getting, I don't want to throw them away, but I also at the same time I don't I don't want to use the Christmas ones for non-Christmas unless you know something like this 
where I'm using using it as a base and using it to thicken up my and I'm gonna recut these because some of them are apparently I didn't do that great of a job when I cut them. So here's a, a reindeer. Of course I don't think that one's cut the right length either. So you can use the red ones. Or you may get to where you're getting tired of looking at them blue ones. And you're doing Christmas. Well, come Christmas time, you have a lot of tags already cut out. But all you need to do is glue the, the front on. And it's ready to go. So I'm going to go over here and cut these down just a little bit because i got some that are crooked. So what I'm going to do, I need two, two, bait, two tags for each, or two, two of the rectangles for each piece. I may stamp it with this first. Totally not sure what I'm doing here. Nope, I like that. I might be able to try this one. I can get enough on it to do anything. My block is not quite big enough, but let's see what we can do. Not too bad for a background. Try this one. So I've got some other ones over here. I think something like this would fit on one of them. Put this one left. Mm -hmm. Didn't quite get all the way over it, but that's okay. We can. And put with this one. Damn, you're having a good time over there. I'm gonna stamp all of them with that. I like that writing on it. As you can see, I found it. Joanne's on clearance last year. I did order me a platform stamp thing. I'm not sure how it's going to work. I was thinking about doing the back of these uh, since I'm getting glue or ink all over them. I'm 
Oh my goodness, something else out of his tickle box. Okay. They look pretty busy, but I think they will work. I might do something with that one. These are a little bit small, so I'm not going to use them, I don't think. I could have uh, liked this one. What I could do is actually come back with those as... Of the other layer. I'm going to try another mushroom. I really like these mushroom stamps. They go good on um, On just regular size cards like this. So this time, what if I go like this and fold it? Especially since that is. Just kind of fold it over. Maybe I could just a little bit shorter. So if you're using your, let me try this one. If you're using your tag to try and Figure out what size it needs to be, just a little bit smaller. So I've got like a quarter of an inch over there space, and then I'm just going to fold this over like that. Let's see, that works perfectly. So then I want to go about right there. Now I can get two little pouches this way. I'm going to trim a little bit of this off. And then I'm going to glue this down. Actually, my glue stick, well, I got glue on that thing. And that works perfectly to glue it that way. Let me do the other one the same size. I think that might work better that way than the way I was trying to do. Let me see. Okay. What I'm going to do is the same thing like I did the other ones. I'm going to go and glue this down the middle the best I can.
And then I'm going to take these two and I'm going to glue it down the middle. And I'm going to go across here and put some glue too. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing with these. I'm going to glue all the way down the middle. Just a great big strip. And I'm going to try and get this centered at the bottom. Right, right about there. One thing I did not do was paint these edges. Let me do that real quick. And I think this might be easier if I had a pink them. So this is a very good use of book page. So if you want to round your corners, it's going to be better to do it before you start gluing because I had to pull this edge up some to round that corner. And I'm just going to glue again from here over. See, this one is already opening. I like this one much better than this one, although this works too. Just doesn't give it that much room to open up like this one. So you have two different ways you can do it. And I did cut to where I wasn't cutting the edges on my. So I'm going to take a couple of the, or at least one, and do the same size. I'm working on another journal. I want to do, have some matching, some stuff to go with it. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to glue these on. Like a collage. So I'm just collaging this down. One of my favorite things to do. Sit over here for just a minute and then we're going to do the other side. Pretty much the same way. So the, this particular Tag is going to go with the fairy journal that I'm working on. I think what I'm going to do with the back, since I'm using book page, is just put book page on it and see what happens. And grab some more book page. Okay. 
first I'm going to trim these off. And I can keep these little pieces if I want to do further collaging later. I can throw them away. And to be honest, I'm not sure. I'm going to put them in that box over there that these belong to. Then I'm just going to put some book page on this side. I think I will go all the way to the bottom on that one because I'm going to get this other one. So I'm really like using this to make my book pages or to make my tag base tags. I'm just going to cut around it. Once you figure out what you're doing, you know, actually it's pretty quick. So if these are both the same size. No. Okay. I'm gonna put these over here in my back in my box over there. Okay, then I'm going to round my corners. And since you're using book page anyway, it does make sense to just cover them in book page and then all these Christmas ones that we have is I get used. I should have probably moved right there, but it's okay. Okay. So I've got those two sides ready. Now what I want to do is pick it out. I'm just taking this, and I want it just a little bit smaller, but I still need my frame over here to have it open. So see, right here, and right here. So I'm going to do my other ones, the same line. These I can probably just stick on top of each other and get my measurements. Loose thing back. And what I didn't do was this. The sides are easy to do, but then these tops. If you want to put 
Do you want to put more notches in them? Now's the time. I don't think I'm going to put any in my... Look at this, it's already kind of nice and round. I may put this one, I don't know, I like this part first. I may put this one first and then show them my other ways. And I'm trying to catch that right here with my glue stick so that this lays down because you will be having this edge in there. So you could sit and just make you a lot of these. Especially if you know the sizes you want. If you want to go ahead and do the inking on these, that you can do that too. I think that's what I'm going to do on this one. So the way you find out new things is by trying it. So these are my stamps that I made. I'm going to run all of them. So I just took some scrapbook paper. This was a one that I had cut like that. And I just did made them into little tags. Some of these are tags and some are not. You just got a mismatch in here. See, that one's scrapbook paper. That one is not going to go with these colors, but it's the same thing. So I just cut them out and stuck them in here. See? Well, they might go with these colors. Who knows? Not me, right? Get it to cut that. It did, but not the way I wanted it to. Now I need to figure out how I'm going to decorate these. I do like this. I think it looks good on one side of this. Just cut it up the middle. I do want to see what it would look like with some purple. Is this purple on that? I still got some purples. 
Okay. And I'm not going to do that in black, but let me see. You know, it's probably better to do your stamping ahead of time before you <laughs> glue the rest of it on like I did. I'm just trying to give it some background now. Hmm. A little bit more on because it's looking kind of messy. And I do have this that could go right there. What I was thinking about was this. And I would stick something like that on. Mm -hmm. I don't know why these things are so hard to do. I don't know about the blue going back there. I don't think that too bad, does it? Okay. No, I'm probably going to mess it up there. Let's see.
We got one side. Put this down here. Go out. Again, most of these are stamps that I'm using. Okay, so that one almost done. So I can do with these other two real quick. Not sure about this yellow, but it can be cut off. I can use it somewhere else, I think. Actually, be a tie. I want to do is put little goodies down in there. You want the pizza? Yes, please. Okay. So, I'm fixing to have pizza. I don't know if you heard. But, I hope you enjoyed the video and learned how to make a concertina tag. I'm just going to tie these up right here. Put it in there. Put it I don't know, I have different colors of blue for that one in here, but I like for that better. I could do black. So you would take out the top of the tag. See the two things. And open up your little tag and find it. All this stuff poked down in it. Isn't that nice? 
I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you like please click audience or comment. If you're new here be sure to you hit the subscribe button and the like button and if you do not want to go to um, either of these um, and comment.